Hey guys, Al Fan here with TVRG Homes. So the other day, I was working with my clients and he's finalizing all his loan documents. Um, the one issue he had was he wasn't crazy about the uh, interest rate he was getting. So his loan officer gave them the option of buying points. Um, he wasn't really sure what that was. So today we have Sean Watson of the Mortgage Link to explain what a point is. So I guess to start off is, uh, Sean, what, what is a point? Hey, happy to help. So yes, yeah, so interest rate point is basically money that you're paying to lower the interest rate. So let's say you are, and it's money, it's money you're paying because you, you're going below market rates. So let's say the interest rate that they, the best that a lender can give you is 3.125%. And let's say you were really, really hoping that you could get a 2.875% because that's what you were seeing in the news. Um, you that rate is available but that bank may or may not be able to give you that rate uh, for free they may have to charge you in order to get that rate um, and whether and whether they have to charge you or not is really going to come down to your credit score um, and how low you already are in the interest rate the second question we had uh, about points is uh, where would you see this charge yeah, so you would see this charge in a couple places. So um, sometimes when you are searching the internet um, and you're just trying to shop around for rates, I have a lot of people that will find very attractive rates, um, but they will not see in the fine print that there are points being charged sometimes for that, that rate or that there's a specific scenario that makes that interest rate available for uh, whoever's applying. Um, so a lot of times you will, it is, I caution clients that when you're browsing um, bank websites and advertisements and emails, pay attention because you may see on there that with a rate that they're advertising, that they're charging a point. Um, the other place you would see it and where I tell clients to really look for um, and pay attention closely is on your loan estimates. So your loan estimates yourself uh, will really give you a breakdown of the cost that the lender uh, is associating with uh, purchasing that home. So in that breakdown, you'll see if discount points are being charged or not. Um, so th that's typically where you'll see it most commonly. So the last question we have is, uh, how do you know if it's worth it to buy a point? Great question. So. First and foremost, in most cases, when you're locking in your interest rate would be the time that this would come up in conversation. Um, the So early on, when you're under contract is number one. That's the best time to talk about it. Um, the reason I mention that is because the amount of money that you would need to pay to lower your interest rate is going to vary day to day based on the way the market moves. So if pricing or the market moves in a buyer's favor and interest rates are going down, it may cost less money to lower your interest rate. Um, if it's the other way, then where interest rates are going back up, it may be more expensive to get to a lower rate that you were hoping to get. Um, but it all comes down to worth it based on your break even. So what I ask clients in every meeting that we have when we discuss points is, how long do you plan on being in that property or at least foresee yourself owning that property? Um, right now, also with rates being historically low, um, you know, you have to decide if you, if you are thinking about refinancing in the future, uh, do you think interest rates in the future will be continue to stay as low as where they are or will they go back up? Um, but essentially we really focus on that break even. So to kind of elaborate on that a little more, uh, the break even, we look at how much are you saving per month and how much does it cost you? So one full interest rate point or 1% is 1% is of the loan amount. So when we say it's you're being charged one point, it's 1% of your loan amount. So in a very simple loan amount example, if you're borrowing $100,000 um, and you're paying a point for the interest rate, that's a thousand dollars you're paying to lower your interest rate. But let's say, for example, um, again, you went from 3.125 to 2.875. And now let's say in that example, your monthly payment, you are saving 
let's say it's a smaller, since it's a smaller loan amount, maybe let's say you're only saving $10, uh, $10 a month by going lower in rate. If that is the case, your break even, if it costs you $1,000 to do that, is going to be 100 months based on the fact that you're saving $10 a month. Um, if you plan on and see yourself being there for that long and you have the disposable income to do it, it may be worth it for you to pay the points. Um, if let's say now in a similar scenario, you're paying $1,000 and you save $50 a month, now it's only costs, it's only gonna take 20 months to actually break even on that. It may be way more worth it in that scenario um, because 20 months will come up in short, uh, less than two years essentially. Uh, so really deciding, um, is it worth paying the points? Comes down to your family's needs, your, your budget, um, and you know, what your goals are for that monthly payment. So yeah, thanks Sean for all that information. Um, my two cents of advice is, you know, this is all highly specific to you. So having that conversation with, with a loan officer like Sean would probably be your best bet on whether to, to decide if this is a good idea or not for you. So if you have any questions for him uh, about points or anything else, uh, I'll leave his information down below in the description. If you have any questions for me, my, of course, my information down below as well. Uh, stay tuned for more videos with us. Um, more videos that hopefully will help you out uh, with the home buying process and mortgage process. And of course, some fun stuff in there as well. So thanks for watching. And uh, Sean, I will see you next time. See you. Thank you.